Hello friends, I am Vikas, founder of InstaWP. Today I am going to show you two exciting updates about the two-way sync feature which we have from the production site to staging or vice versa. In this screen in front of you, you can see a website called wooshop.instawp.com. It has the WooCommerce plugin, which is used for e-commerce applications and a theme called Astra, which is very popular. I'm going to show you how you can sync the changes uh, between the live site and the staging site. In the interest of time, I've pre-created a staging site before starting this video. The staging site name is Satisfy Eland. And I opened that in another tab on my uh, laptop. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the main page of this website called WooShop. And as you can see, my red dot is on. So make sure that this is on. So to make it on, go to the InstaWP icon again, go to the sync tab and then toggle this button on. Once you have switched it on, go back to the store and let's place an order. So I'm going to add this to the cart and I'm going to go to the cart now. All right, proceed to a place order. All right, so our order has been placed. Let's go back onto the dashboard. Go to orders. Here you will see there is a new order which has the processing uh, as a status. But if I go to my blinking red dot, you will see that there is an order created and there is an order updated. The same order has been updated, created and updated. And there is a button called sync all. So when I click on that, it is going to sync all the pending changes to my staging site, which is satisfy Elan. So let's start doing that. And before we do that, let's go back and see how many orders do we have on the satisfied site. Now, there is only one order. Let's go ahead and sync it. So this option is very, very useful when you have, when you are working with a live site and a staging site kind of scenario, and you are getting new orders on the production side and you want to sync back the orders or product data, anything which you have done back to the staging site. It depends on your use case. Uh, you may need to do that or you may not need to do that. Same will work between staging to live as well. In the next part of this video, I'm going to show you the support for customizer, which we have added recently. In this support, you will be able to uh, sync across the customizer related changes from staging to live or live to staging. Let's do that. So let's go ahead and click on any of these settings. Let's say we are going to change our global palette to a purple color and we are going to go ahead and go back and maybe go to typography and let's change the body font to Rub Rubik. And all right, so we are all set. Click on hit and hit on publish, go back. And you will see that this customizer changes has been recorded by the two-way sync. Now, all we need to do is click on two-way sync or sync all. Here, our destination site is our production site. Let's go ahead and sync it. It takes a few seconds to sync the data from staging to production. And let me go back and close and open the main page of our production site and it works like magic. So thanks for watching this video.